Um, got several more coming, so, um, you know, tough team, well coached, uh, play hard. So it was good for our team with a couple guys down. Um, you know, Connington steps up. George Hills plays a little bit more. Irsan and DJ play a little bit more. Um, and then all the usual suspects, you know, Giannis and Bled and Brooke and Chris were great. So, um, you know, it's a good win. What stood out to you about the way that Pat played tonight? Yeah, you know, I think uh, his ability to attack and get to the paint and finish, um, you know, in some kind of unique ways. And, um, and then he makes a couple threes on top of it. And, you know, his defensive activity is always great, contesting shots. Getting in, helping rebound. He brings a great energy to the game. So, um, you know, we saw it a couple of games ago how ready he is. He's a professional, and, um, you know, it's just great to have him for us. What does it mean to this team just to have so many guys who have that next man up mentality? Yeah, it's great. You know, it's a long season to get through uh, 82 games. The depth of your roster is always tested, and we feel great about our depth. Um, and I think there's even more guys that can help us. So um, I think there's a lot of confidence in everybody in the locker room. Yeah, no, I, I th it was, uh, I don't know what they cut it to. It felt like four or six or something. And he hits a little baseline jumper, hits the three, gets the follow. Um, you know, it was right back to 10 or 11. And thought that was a critical stretch. And um, we needed somebody to put the ball in the basket. And he did it. What is it about this team that hasn't lost two straight games uh, all year long? I think it just speaks to the character of the team, to the competitiveness of the, of the team. Um, you know, they've set high standards for themselves, high expectations. And, um, you know, so it's, um, we've talked about it a little bit. Um, and, you know, those really good teams historically, um, you know, they usually bounce back after a loss. And uh, so far, our group's been able to do that. There were a few games recently where Chris has scored a bunch of points early, Brooks scored early, and then Giannis kind of scores late. Is there anything to that? No, you know, I mean, we went to Chris a lot early tonight. and. Um, Maybe could have kept going to him more and, you know, just didn't. Um, but I thought, you know, he set a tone for us early. I thought he was really big and, um, you know, I think in getting us off to a good start without Malcolm, without Sterling. So um, I think it's more just the flow of the game. What did you see in that one stretch, uh, I think late in the third, where Giannis was like a playmaker more than, you know, trying to dominate and crush the ball? Yeah, no, I mean, we see a lot of that. He's a great decision maker. I, you know, I don't know if, if you're talking specifically about the pass out to the corner. Yeah, I mean, you there, know. Was a, there was a stretch there where he had a shot, he kicked one to the left wing, yep. and then another time he kicked it to the corner. Yeah, you know, the one to the corner to finish the quarter, those are big momentum swings. And, you know, he has the ball where maybe he could go in and, you know, um, finish in the paint or finish at the rim, but he sees an open corner three and makes a great read. And, you know, Pat makes the shot. Those are, you know, big momentum swings going into, uh, into a quarter. A little bit the past few games. Just what do you make of, of his play over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, I liked him better tonight. You know, I think uh, if he keeps, you know, I think focusing on being good defensively, competing, um, you know, it didn't quite go for him tonight, but I thought he was better. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's a long season, so, you know, I think we have the, all the confidence in the world in him.